This is a Eufy Home Base 2 unit that's been working for about two years. A few months ago, its Wi-Fi connection started dropping out and then coming back in. But recently, it's lost its Wi-Fi connection completely. I wanted to find out if the unit would still work using the Ethernet cable. I started by resetting it to its original state. To do this, both the power adapter and the Ethernet cable must first be connected. Using the small reset pin that came with the unit, Press and hold the reset button until a recorded voice is heard. Home base is resetting. Next, I simply follow the UFI app instructions to add the home base and a camera back to the system and set up the components for test. It turned out that everything worked fine, so all I really needed was a longer Ethernet cable. Now, if it failed to work, at this point, I think replacing the unit would be the next logical step. But there's a remote possibility that taking the unit apart and cleaning it might help. I decided to do exactly that with this unit, figuring that it might restore the Wi-Fi function. Looking at the bottom of the unit, you'll see a small notch that helps to remove the bottom cover. The round component in the middle is the speaker cone. Tape some cardboard over it to prevent damage. I did not do this and was very lucky not to damage it. The enclosure is held together with four recessed screws. Use a number zero Phillips screwdriver. Two items I'd like to mention before continuing. First, the big silver part in the middle is a heat sink that's attached with four screws. I would not remove this part without talking with a company rep. They likely use a thermal adhesive to bond the circuitry to the heat sink. Removing the heat sink would require a reapplication of thermal adhesive to restore the heat sink's function. The second item, if your home base failed to work with the Ethernet cable, the most I do at this point is simply use a can of compressed air to blot any debris that could possibly be causing a short circuit somewhere. The unit has three RF antennas. Each one is connected to the PC card by a single black wire. As I traced one of the wires to the PC card, I immediately found the likely cause of the Wi-Fi loss. It's due to the use of miniature compression connectors. These connectors probably help to expedite assembly, but can fail when their contact surfaces become oxidized over time. I used a common electrical contact cleaner to break through the oxide buildup. I'm starting with the front connector. The connector swivels on its mounting pin, so I'll just work it back and forth a couple times. That takes care of the rear antenna. Now the side antenna connectors are not easy to get to. So those antennas will have to come off first. We'll do the left side next. Use a double zero Phillips screwdriver to remove one screw. The screwdriver is from a jeweler screwdriver kit, about five or ten dollars on Amazon. When removing the antenna, be careful not to put too much tension on the wire. Swivel the connector a small amount in each direction by alternately pushing it, then gently pulling on the antenna. A couple times should be enough. We'll finish by doing the same thing on the right side. The connector for the right side antenna is also under the heatsink and a bit more difficult to reach.
but we can still swivel it by gently wiggling the antenna wire by itself. I reassembled the unit and reconfigured it for Wi-Fi. I tested it by setting it up downstairs in the garage at a line of sight distance of more than 40 feet from the router and it worked fine, even passing through four walls and a floor. Lastly, I'm attaching a flow chart at the end that might be helpful for avoiding unnecessary steps in the repair process. If the video was helpful in any way, I'd appreciate a like.